By now you know how to do a hand clean, so if we want to learn how to lift from the floor, the trick is getting the bar from the floor to your hang position. So today we're going to do a halted deadlift and that should give you the nice positions that you need to learn to be able to lift from the floor. When you get ready to pick the bar up off the ground, your back has to be flat just like we talked about in the hang position. The second point I want to make is don't yank the bar off the ground. When you're doing a clean, we do want to accelerate that bar with some big speed, okay? But we don't want to go. I want you to take the play out of the bar. And as soon as you do that, as soon as it's like coming off the ground, you can like kind of rip that as fast as you want. But when you don't have tension on your muscles and you just kind of yank it off the ground like that, what that does, a lot of the time it sort of pulls you out of position. Now, some of you might remember Pocket Hercules. He, he, he did rip the bar off the ground, but when you're one of the best there ever was, you can kind of do what you want. For most people, though, if you go and yank that, it's going to kind of disrupt your position and pull you out of position. So, just taking the play out before we take the bar up off the ground. Then, once it, once it starts coming up, then you can kind of put on the jets. Now, when you're getting ready to pick up the bar, I want you to pay attention to a couple things. We're going to have a nice flat back. Um, also, we talked about uh, not ripping the bar off the ground. Here's why I made mention of that. A bunch of things, but here's the most important thing. When we're lifting off the floor, I want your hips, your hips rather, and shoulders coming up together, okay? So hips and shoulders together. If you rip that bar up, sometimes it just pulls your back out of position, your shoulders forward, all of that kind of stuff. So for taking the weight off the floor for the halted deadlift, everybody's a little bit different. I used to line up you know, a specific shoelace over the bar, all that kind of stuff. Don't worry about it. But we're going to be, there's going to be some space between your shin and the bar. We're not going to be at the bar like that, where like I'm holding onto the bar to not fall over backwards. I'm going to have some space, and I'm going to push my shins toward the bar. And when I'm getting ready to pick it up, I'm going to pull my knees back and just scrape the bar up my shin, pulling my knees back, and now this should look pretty similar to my hang position. So again, we're trying to teach you how to get the bar from the floor to your hang position. So that should do it. So I'm lining up, which you know I've done enough of these that I know where I'm supposed to stand. Getting down here with like bad kind of posture, but I'll correct that. And now pulling the bar up to what looks similar to the hang position that we've already been working on. So once you get that down, where you know how to pick the bar up, that's going to be helpful because now you already know how to do hang clean. So now, when that bar is going into your familiar hang position, instead of doing it from a dead stop, we're going to have the benefit of momentum, okay? So you should be able to really have a nice pull as long as you learn how to get the bar from the floor with safe and efficient technique to your already established hang position. So work on that and uh, a full power clean from the floor is just right around the corner.